Yeah, I, I would probably say that we had a lot of momentum and confidence coming out of the St. John's game. Um, we went over, we went on break, and we came back focused and ready to play. So, does it help when you have Yasin and Stasia in foul trouble for a lot of the game, allowing you guys to continue defensive intensity and execute on the offensive end a little bit more? Yeah, we knew coming into the game what we had to do defensively, and um, we like to attack the basket and people get people in foul trouble. And I think that's what we did. And I think it really helped us offensively as well. Did the pregame ceremony do anything for you guys, fire you guys up at all in regards to them receiving the rings in front of you guys? No, I don't, I don't even think we really thought anything about it. We were just, you know, it's, it's whatever. Um, we were just focused, ready to play. Chassie, what's it like being in your first city game? Uh, I think it was exciting. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but um, I mean, we wanted to win, so that's what we did to do it. The game plan for either one of you guys. What was the key thing that you needed to really focus on from there? Um, just playing 40 minutes. Um, coaches wanted us to out rebound, and I don't know what the end stat on that was. Um, but just playing 40 minutes and play physical, we knew they were going to come out. Um, it didn't matter what records each team had. Um, the city game's always a fight. And I thought we played probably 30 minutes. So we just got to go back to the drawing board and get that full 40. Cassie, April said that you know she hopes that once she's gone, you guys sort of take this and run with it and keep keep sort of the streak against Pitt alive. I mean, what does that mean to you, sort of moving forward as a freshman? Uh, I mean, I think it's a good. The future looks good, especially with how many freshmen we have. But uh, yeah. <laughs> have you noticed a progression in in the team throughout your time, April? Capping off the city game. I mean, you guys have had consistent records and consistent results, but the way you guys have performed this season and the way you guys were able to come through the peaks and valleys that you guys faced in this kind of a game. Um, obviously, we're really young, but I think we're a very family-oriented team. We're really cohesive, and I think that really helps to translate on the court. Um, we know where everyone's at or where they're supposed to be, and um, I think we've gotten a lot better since the start of the season. Um, you know, with the second game, we got blown out by Princeton. But from that day on, I think we've all had the mindset of getting better. And I think everyone's doing that in the weight room, on the court, I mean, even in the classroom. And people are getting in the coach's office, watching film. And everyone wants to get better. And I think that's really helping us. What did the Princeton game do? I know it was early and you guys were still figuring out a lot of things. But what did that Princeton game do to help you guys elevate you to where you're at now? Uh, <laughs> I think it motivated us to, like, we have higher expectations, and losing like that is not what we're capable of, and we need to push ourselves to get better, to keep up and uh, compete with those types of teams. Is there one area where you guys feel like you've improved the most since that game? Um, I would probably say, like, defensively, maybe, like, yeah. rebounding. Defensively, and I think our chemistry, we've been mm -hmm. working more like well as a team rather than at the beginning of the season. There's a lot more communication. Mm -hmm.